Comics and you're watching Perry Presents. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Perry Presents episode 10. Yes, we are 10 weeks into my Perry Presents series. I hope you're enjoying this. I am loving doing them. Let's move straight into pop news. Woohoo! This week, Justin Bieber announced that his brand new album, Justice, which is his sixth studio album, will be released on Friday, March 19th. He also released his brand new single, Hold On, which I'm loving. Can't wait to hear it. We've got new music from BB Rexa, and I love this song. I've had it on repeat since it came out, and that is Sacrifice. It's so, so good. Zara Larson just released her amazing new album, and I'm excited to show you this. I am so happy this is out. It is, of course, the incredible Poster Girl. Oh, yes. Not only that, but I also got, this is really exciting, a signed slip. As you can see, she looks stunning, and this was from her official store. So, if you haven't got Poster Girl yet, then be sure to go to the shops, go and stream, download it, buy it, whichever. You can get it sent to you via Amazon. Very quick and easy. It's a flipping amazing album, and I am loving it. So, go check that out. And then we've got Blackpink's Rose, and as you can see, I'm rocking a Sour Candy t shirt today, which I'm very, very happy about. She will debut with her brand new single, On the Ground on March 12th, so that's fast approaching, can't wait to hear that. And apparently, Miley Cyrus has signed a new record deal with Columbia Records, and she was previously signed to RCA, so looking forward to hearing new music from Miley. And then my incredible friend, Floss, has released a brand new music video for Sign, and it is incredible. It's the follow-up to her amazing single, Floss Like a Boss, and if you haven't seen this music video, I'm gonna insert a clip right now. All the glitter and all the gold. I love that. Super, super cool video from Floss there. Sign is out right now. Be sure to stream, download it, and check that music video out. I'm loving it. We've got an incredible collab between Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, and it's their new single, Leave the Door Open, which is out right now. And Nick Jonas has released his brand new single called This Is Heaven off his brand new album, Spaceman. I can't wait for that. Selena Gomez and DJ Snake have just released their new song together titled Selfish Love off her upcoming Spanish. Spanish EP, and I love saying this, Revelation. I love that so, so much. And Drake has finally announced new music and dropped a brand new single called Scary Hours after the delays in January. I'm excited that he's finally got new music coming. And rumour has it, according to Insider, Beyonce and her team were in Georgia with a group of dancers for the recording of a big new project for Netflix. The project is being recorded with the greatest secrecy and is expected to launch in the summer of 2021. And then we've got Burner Boy and Poppy who have been confirmed to perform during the Grammys on March 14th. And today, all of the Grammy nominees were announced, including the performers, so be sure to check those out. I will link that below. Exciting times. Moving swiftly into movie news. Thor's Love and Thunder is shooting in Australia right now and it's reportedly set to star the amazing and hilarious Melissa McCarthy. I can't wait to see that. Also in Marvel news, I just finished watching WandaVision and I am obsessed. It was an incredible series of nine episodes and they just released a behind the scenes footage of how it was made to make up for an episode 10. But the season finale was phenomenal. If you haven't seen WandaVision, please go and check it out on Disney+. Plus. Also talking about Marvel, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania is due for release in the next year or two. So that's another new movie to look forward to. Ant-Man and the Wasp is my favourite up there with Spider-Man. So I'm very, very excited for that. And then we've also got the incredible Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, apparently, according to sources, this is when WandaVision and Elizabeth Olsen's character, Wanda, will be integrated into the Marvel movie. So I'm excited to see what becomes of that looks amazing and then of course we've got the incredible black widow set for release girl power yes cannot wait to see that on a separate note jumanji 4 is apparently in development and it's a big 
idea. That's exciting. Can't wait to see that. And David Dawson has been cast as Harry Styles' male love interest in My Policeman. Looking forward to seeing that. And also this week, I was very surprised to see this. There is a brand new Tom and Jerry live action movie, which is out right now. So be sure to check that out. And in other movie news, Thunder Force starring Octavia Spencer and Melissa McCarthy, who's also in Thor, in the new Netflix comedy Thunder Force, supervillains are an everyday thing, but now it's time for the world's first superhero team, and that superhero team is played by Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer. The two star as estranged friends who reunite and end up with superpowers, with comedic results. Can't wait to see that. Also in TV news, Pose has announced that the third and final series will air on May 2nd and this is the final season of all seasons and the producers and directors and writers all said that all good things must come to an end and they feel that they've written what they could and they don't want to spoil it and they just think it's incredible so I'm looking forward to the final series of course I'm upset that it's the last series but also it really is good to let things go sometimes you don't want a successful piece of like tv series to be lost sometimes it works with some series others it doesn't and I think I trust the writers and I trust the producers in this being the final series and I can't wait to see it. Of course, I'll miss it very, very much, but I'm looking forward to seeing it and can't wait to see when it comes out on May 2nd. In theatre news, soulmates Joss Stone and Dave Stewart are writing a musical for the incredible best-selling movie and also story the time traveler's wife oh that's exciting i love joss stone so i can't wait to see a time traveler's wife musical very very exciting and then everybody will be talking about jamie again as it reopens on may 20th starring the amazing real shane ritchie i always say real shane ritchie shane ritchie on may 20th can't wait for that and six is also set to reopen on may 21st providing the government do not change obviously the guidelines and obviously the guidance hopefully it will all be able to reopen again in may can't wait to see those shows again more theater news and i'm really thrilled about this hello dolly west end revival starring amelda staunton is aiming for 2023 and i can't wait to see that hopefully that goes ahead fingers crossed we also got a killer party uk premiere of a new musical announced for stream theater and then we've also got gatsby a musical Musical, which is set to return um, to streaming for a limited time only from 11th to the 14th of March. Gosh, there's so much going on. Then we've got the Bells of Notre Dame video released with over 100 performers coming together for the virtual rendition of a Disney classic. Love that. And then we've got Cynthia Erivo set to play the Blue Fairy in Disney's live action Pinocchio remake. So that's kind of theatre meets movies and I'm very, very, very excited for that. So there's loads going on in the theatre world. I'm excited for theatre to finally start coming back, but I'm wishing everybody all of the best and fingers crossed we'll be back in a theatre all together again very, very soon. But thank you so much for watching this week at Perry Presents. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to click subscribe. I'm super close to 7,000 subscribers and it would mean the world to me if you just click subscribe. And if you want to be notified of all of my other videos, then be sure to click that bell notification. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next Sunday at six for all of the latest entertainment news and more.